Hello everybody, welcome to episode 3 of my Little Witch in the Woods Let's Play. Where we just left off, we were just about to go to sleep. I could have probably slept before starting this, but you will wake up tomorrow at 8. Sleep? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Did that animation pop up the first time? <laughs> I didn't notice it. Uh, did I uh, start recording this? immediately after recording the second one. I will never tell you and you will never know. Ellie is groaning. You just woke up. Why do you look dead already? It's relatable. I think I had an important dream, but I can't remember it. It seemed like something important. Like the principal sermon? That's something I don't want to think about again. Saved. Okay. Oh, that's a creepy bird. Witch crow. A crow? Witch. It's spoke. It's a witch's crow. Oh, it's a witch's crow. The witch returns. The witch returns. Maybe we were the witch all along. This is my first time coming here, though. Is it? Is it really? The crow says otherwise. I think I'll trust the crow. Not exactly a listener, is he? Goods and services. Goods and services. Witch's catalogue. The witch's catalogue. I've always wanted to try it out. You need to head towards Hylian, young lady. But I can't, I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find the village, I'm going to make sure I try it out before I go to Hylian. Limited time only. Register now for a gift. Try the witch's catalogue. Try the witch's catalogue. Like every advertisement ever. They're handing out gifts as well. Plus, it's limited time only. That's how they get you. That's how they trick you into buying things you don't need. Gift! These are pretty insistent. Multi-purpose glue. Kitchen accessories. A spork. Sporks are very useful. I could do with a spork. In any case, I need the witch's catalogue. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have in a pinch. You can buy ingredients or potion recipes from them. So I don't have to use the extractor. I can just buy whatever I need from this creepy looking crow. All right, let's register for now. Thank you. Thank you. Visit employee. Visit employee. Visit employee. When? Work finished. Work finished. Close for the day. Oh, yeah, that's typical. Where's my gift? Uh, Oh, he exploded. Oh, I hope he's okay. So suddenly? It's not easy getting the message across to witches' crows. Hmm. Then I guess I should keep searching for the village. Did we Did we get to sign up for the catalogue? I'm thinking not. He, he just exploded. You never know when the witches' catalogue will show up. Okay, yes, we, we didn't sign up for it. Let's stick to the plan and find the village. We've already found the village, that's not the issue here. Did I make the potion? No, I didn't. No, I, I do need to make this. Uh, what was it again? Maple herb, potions... Squishy chub and witch flower. We have the witch flower? Yes, we just need the squishy chub. Which I believe we have. We do not have any of that, because it's in my chest. Uh, switch over to that. Do we need more witch flower? Should we transfer it over just in case? Could make some more while we're at it. Okay. Uses two pieces of squishy fur, so I should go harass some more squishy chubs. Flower extracts. I'm just going to make as much of this as I can because that's a cute animation and I want to watch it over and over again. Let's put the dangle mangles in there, and the rocks, and the maple herbs. Um, can I actually make? Maple extract. I can.
can. Okay, let me just speed through making all these then. There we go. That's one job dropped. Okay, um, we should make that potion while we're here. And I'm going to double check, but I believe it was stage four, don't stir. Okay, and it's one of these, Ooh, one of those, stage four, don't stir. Yes. And there's the happy cloud. Fantastic. To make best use of it, okay, that's the same thing I read before. Right, let's go kill some weeds. I'm tempted to uh, throw it at this little guy, but I don't want to hurt him. Oh, and I suppose... Why is that bush shaking? There's something in it. Hello? It's a... Um... A seed? Can I draw it? Ah, yes, I can. That didn't work, okay. Let's try that again. There we go, okay. Hold it down, it's all done. Bush bug. Oh, I bet I need a net. Yes, I do. Hmm. Sorry, little bush bug. I'm gonna have to uh, leave you. Disturbed your rest, and now I'm just going to walk away. The ultimate cruelty. Well, I suppose it would be more cruel to stick him in a potion. Oh, there's another one in that bush bug. Ah, I need a net. Ooh, more birds. Yes, I will draw them this time. I sneak up on them. Very carefully. Oh, he's got little flowers. Yes. There we go. A sprout bird. A common bird found in the green forest. The sprout on its head will shovel up or bloom with flowers. They drop their flowers behind should you scare them away. If well fed, they will bloom lots of flowers. Okay, it says I can use my hand to catch them. Uh... I'm not sure how good I'd be at sneaking up on the bird, but let's try it. Okay. Okay, do you have to time it right? Wait for the flower to bloom and then... No. Wait for the flower to bloom and then scare it away? He doesn't seem to... Okay, he... His flower might have been broken. Bless him. Oh, more birds. Virgil, look at that. Indeed, more little honey pumpkin, is it? It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. You better get rid of it before it grows any more. What? I'm not even a gardener. Why? We must get rid of it to get to a new place, since we haven't been behind there. Oh, I guess it can't be helped to get to a new place. I guess I should make weed terminator potion. Well, I came prepared. Collect the required ingredients, process them, then try making a potion. If there's anything you do not know, try using the quill and encyclopedia. It's simple because I've made it once before. Don't forget to remove the nucleus. Fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna scare away these birds. Oh no, their flowers are just... Yes! Oh, I missed it. Okay, wait until his flower blooms, then sneak up on him. I'm assuming I didn't actually... Pay attention the first time. Oh, his flower isn't blooming. Am I too close? Ah, got it. It's... So you do have to wait for the flower to bloom, but if you're too close, it doesn't bloom all the way. How do I chuck a potion again? A. Set. And throw. That has a 
pretty good coverage on it. Okay. Um, gonna pick up these rocks. I'm less worried about messing up the potions now, if they're all going to be that explosive. Right, get rid of this. And that grows back fast. Ah, there we go. There we go. There's a fox caught in the cobweb. I should probably go save him because... I don't know, that's not a very pleasant thing to be in. But then that cobweb is pretty big. I'm not sure I want to tangle with anything that made that thing. I'm, I'm really not interested in spiders. <laughs> hmm, how do I get down there? Okay, it's just a slope. A little bird cage. Oh, they have candles in them. Interesting light features. Oh, there's some of these uh, weird looking creature things. I hope they're not statues of things that have been brought in some horrible spell. Shall I uh, save you? Bub bub. Wow, Virgil, there's someone stuck in a spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Is he even alive? Not for much longer if that spider comes back. I don't know. Um. Yeah! They woke up. Who? I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. A witch? Wow, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch. It's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. Hehe. <laughs> my name is Rubrum. I live in the village with my grandma, but now I'm stuck in a big spider web. He doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation. A little hard to understand gravity when you're being suspended in a cobweb. A big spider web means there's a big spider nearby. You be quiet. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. You have to be careful when dealing with spider webs, Ellie. It looks pretty strong. One wrong, wrong move and you'll get stuck in it yourself. Then what do I do? A potion? Maple herb works best against insects. Just one maple herb should be enough. I learned that maple herb grows on cliffs. I'll bring it soon. Yeah, come back soon. Collecting with special consideration. Creatures usually live in specific environments. Okay. I have collected some maple before. Do I have any on me? No, because I turned it all into extract. <sighs> I'm just too efficient. Am I going to have to go all the way back to... Yes, I am. Okay. Ooh. Bit of a dangle. Is that a dangle mangle? Yes. And some maple. <sighs> oh no, okay. Well, I hope that spider isn't hungry because uh, I'm going to be a while. Oh, it's this way. Go past the bug bush. I wonder if that lady we met in the last episode sells nets. Mm, she said she'd sell us a roaster handle. But that doesn't really tell us what kind of inventory she has. Right, put the box away. Put that away. That's dangle mangles, batches, and put the fur away. And I don't have any maple because I used it all. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Why you don't turn all your stuff into extract? I say that like I'm going to remember it. I'm going to do the same thing next time. Just too efficient. Right. Well, we can pick up that maple we knocked down before. I'll save climbing up these ones. Oh. 
I did want to look at that as a place in the daytime too. It is 3.40, I'm not sure we'll have time. Good, I got the maple herb. Let's go back to Rub Bum now. Maybe if I'm quick, the spider will get him. And if he asks why it took so long, I can just tell him, you know, some things are just more important. You have to see flowers in the daytime. It probably won't be any different. I just like going up into the clouds. Oh! No, it, it, it's pretty. It's... It's very pretty. Hmm. I think it was nicer with the butterflies. But the sunbeams are nice. I'll get some more, just in case. See, that there was a... There was a point to this excursion. I'm collecting more resources. There we go. Oh, I hope that spider doesn't show up. Fingers crossed. It probably will do. I'll probably be... I have to fight this epic boss battle with a spider. It'll be horrible. I should have made some candies. Some healing candies. Right. Like this. Oh, okay. Oh, the spider didn't show up. This is, uh... This is good. Are you okay? He did just hit the ground pretty hard. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he's probably got some kind of injury. Can you walk? Okay. Then let's go to the witch's house together. Oh, that's too adorable. Okay. Onwards. Let's uh, get away from where the spider is going to be. I'm not sure I'd want to live in an area that has such obvious sightings of giant spiders. You go incredibly slowly, don't you? Come on. Keep up. Oh, he's broken his legs. Come on. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I can't walk because my legs hurt. But he did, he did drop. You were probably up there for too long. Then I'll give you a hug. That's not going to help Ellie. I'll give you treatment at the witch's house. Okay. This is um, a portable hug. Hug while moving. That's the best kind of hug. Unfortunately, I can't collect anything now. Isn't it heavy? Of course. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to say. <laughs> Just stop talking. <sighs> sticks. I can't collect you, I'm sorry. Our village is just a little further from here, but you cannot pass through right now because of the prickly vines. How did you get past? I bet he walked along the train tracks. Let's go to the witch's house for now and find a way. Yeah. Have I... Have I kidnapped this child? Is that... Is that what this is? Breaking, entering, stealing, now I've kidnapped a child. We're here. Wow, a witch's house. Thanks. Oh, yes, I haven't been checking. Okay, I just have the one main quest. Uh, do I need to make you something? There was a candy. Healing candy. Witch flower extract and maple herb extract. Let me... Let me make that for you. Now I did make some maple extract before and I also have some witch flower. I didn't have to move all of them. Just the one will do. I'll put these back too. There we go. Right, I'm going to stand on this side of the cauldron so I can see the pretty animation. Ah, I need to check the Fire to stage four and stir the ladle right. Or clockwise. Okay. Uh, was that stage four? Four, right. Four, right. And clockwise. It's anti clockwise. Oh, no, monkey. Uh, okay. There we go. Four, right. Ah, no, I need to. Getting ahead of myself. 
There we go. And that's a happy face. And a happy dance. A candy that quickly heals light wounds. Though it looks delicious, it has a strange taste. Oh, the kid ain't gonna like this. He's probably gonna spit it back out. I'll have to hide it in vegetables. Kidnapping a child and poisoning them. I'm off to a great start here. Talk, how's your leg? It still hurts a bit. I have to hurry up and get back to the village. If not, Grandma will scold me. Uh, for good reason, too. Uh, what were you doing so far away from the village? <laughs> oh god, you could have been eaten by a spider. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get rid of that huge prickly vine. Oh, really? I'll make sure to get you back to your village. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Oh, before that, I should treat your leg first. I was just starting to worry that I'd made that candy for nothing. Thought, no, oh, I've gotten ahead of myself again. But no, no, he, he does need treatment. Bum bum, wait here for a moment. Right. And you don't even have to wait, because I already have it to hand. I just don't know how to give it to you. Um, can I just talk to you again? Would you like to try this? Well, what's this? Is this candy? Oh, I'm so sorry. It, it's gonna be... It's gonna put you off candy for life. Yeah, it's a candy to heal your leg. It's gonna taste absolutely disgusting. I'm so sorry. It looks delicious. It's... It's not going to be. Oh, it is deli- Okay, you've got funny taste buds. Oh. This tastes awful. Yeah, there it is. It's good for your health. How's your leg? Well, I think I feel better. He's just saying that to get out of eating any more disgusting candies. Thanks, Ellie. Candy tastes awful. So how did you get caught in the spider web? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit. But time flew by, and by then the giant prickly vines were covering the way. I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of a train. Oh, it must be the one I was riding. I went back towards the, str the uh, I went back towards the train, and a strange bird suddenly started chasing after me. It must have been that bird, not the train. It was the bird. I went into a deep place as I was running away. How did he get past the honey pumpkin? Then I found a treasure map and got caught in the spider web as I was trying to pick it up. There was a treasure map? I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. Shall we go check? What about gigantic prickly vine? Oh well, we can't do much about it yet. Priorities. It wouldn't hurt to try. Let's go. We're going to go back to where the giant spider is. Can I follow you too? You want to go back to where you were almost eaten by a giant spider? Oh, this kid has weird priorities. Wouldn't it be better to rest a little more? I'm bored since I'm at home all the time. What do you say? Okay, fine. Ellie is not a good influence or a good caretaker but be careful okay thanks if you get caught in any more spider webs um are you coming okay yes okay you are uh let me just make sure this is recording it is good 20 minutes in i probably should have checked before ah uh, come on 6 p.m. Hmm. It'll be fine. I don't think he has a bedtime. Or at least not one that Ellie would care about, so. And they do say you need to uh, become the character. There he is, okay. So if Ellie doesn't care, then I shouldn't care either. Come on. Let's forget about bedtimes. It'd be a bad influence. Come on. Could uh, run a little faster. Oh, it's a one of those witch chalk things. I wonder if that lady will sell chalk, or maybe that crow will come back, and I can buy some from the witch's catalogue. That would also be good. Uh, investigate. You don't have the right chalk. Okay. But that's that's a bummer. Okay. Hello, Ellie. Any interesting stories? 
I like playing in the forest. But you must be careful when you play in the forest. Why? You were stuck in the spider web for who knows how long. Because you might end up like this again. <laughs> Absolutely no remorse whatsoever. Ellie, have you ever picked an apple from the bushes? Yes, cran apples. Was it delicious? You don't eat weird food you find in the forest, that's not... Don't encourage him to eat weird food you find in the forest. Oh, he already has eaten weird food. But you shouldn't eat too much. Grandma said you'll get a stomachache. That's better than poisoning, I suppose. Uh, I can't talk to him about the boots, unfortunately. I think the boots has long gone. Shop! I'm making fresh flower tea. Are you going to sell me any fresh flower tea? Goodbye. Oh, um... Hmm. Investigate the bushes. Maybe it's too dark. I might have to come back in the daytime. Or maybe just investigate around here. Any any pointers would be uh, fantastic if you if you felt like helping. Uh, bushes, bushes, bushes. Do you bushes? Hmm. It's not really what I consider a bush. There's some trees. Should probably come back in the daytime. That would probably uh, help. I might be able to see. Come on then, little fox. Let's uh, let's go back. Pretty butterflies. There he is. You do tend to uh, dither, don't you? Come on. Uh, creepy... Creepy bush creature. Please don't attack each other. Where am I going? Okay, up. Is it up? Hmm, I need a net for these things too. Okay, let's... Oh, I didn't notice that before. The pumpkin glows. Oh, I've lost him. Oh, there he is. Oh, that, that's cute. And this... This light looks broken. Hmm, it's flickering a little. I wonder if I can fix that, or if it's just... You will wake up tomorrow at 8. Sleep? Yes. Cute little animation again. Okay, it is 8. Ellie didn't mention anything about dreaming this time. Saved. Okay, it saves automatically. Right, let's go have a look, see what we can find. There he is. I probably shouldn't be collecting weird things I find in the forest in front of this kid. Hmm. Probably influence him to do something else. More birds? Oh, I could have scared this flower off him. Okay, so you do have to wait. But I don't know... I haven't had any recipes for the bird flower yet, so... Oh. Missed it. Oh, no. Missed that one too. Ah, too fast on that one. Okay. Right, let's see. There is something in that bush to the right of that tree. Come on. These crown apples grow quickly. I mean, I'm not complaining, it's uh, good for my collecting 
tendencies, right. We don't have the right chalk. Um. Hmm. I do like tea. Yeah, I like it. Well, let's drink some tea later. I'll give you some delicious tea. Yeah, okay. Okay, you're not going to say anything about the bush. Am I coming at it from the wrong angle? No? Don't have the right chalk. Okay. Oh, okay. The little uh, thing doesn't pop up. Okay. A boom potion. I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I feel like this isn't what I was after. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use skeleton design as a symbol of luck, right? The important thing now is that I have something to blow things up with. Oh, we can blow up the vines! And also something to blow up. Yes. You're super excited. And shall we go try it right away? Oh, okay, it's gonna take me there itself. That's, uh, that's nice. I miss this feeling, and we've lost the kid. Do you plan to destroy everything on top of getting in trouble? Hey, what do you take me for? A boom potion? Don't you feel the almighty potion just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange that a boom potion was dropped in that secluded forest? Oh, there he is! Did did we not teleport him with us? Did he just run all that way? Oh, poor, poor kid. Someone might have hidden it thinking that it's treasure, like bub -bum. Or someone might have spilled it. The boom potion? Uh, I don't know. The important thing now is that the boom potion is in my hands. Go, boom potion. Oh, wow, that did nothing. Wow, it won't even budge. It must be stronger than a secret door in the principal's office. We you try to blow up the door? Yeah, that sounds like a typical Ellie thing to do. What are those fragments coming out of it? Huh? Where? Around your feet. Do I want to pick this up with uh, bare hands? Look at this, Virgil. It's a prickly vine fragment. It seems to have worked a little bit. Ah, uh, that's debatable. But the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. We might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Hmm, well. Uh, wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Okay, I have another keyword. Large prickly vine splinter. Splinter. A splinter of the giant prickly vine... With line. Of the giant prickly vine blocking the entrance to the village. Hmm, who to ask first? The kid? Or her? Hmm, the kid? Hmm, he did mention... He did mention prickly vines before. He didn't say anything... Is this a prickly vine fragment? Fascinating. Oh, he's got the stars in his eyes. <laughs> Do you happen to know something about it? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Any interesting stories? Uh, just about the large vine that grew quick enough to block you off from your village? Let's ask you. Shall we, shall we get this first? There we go. And there's squishies up there. But it's still pretty early. I think I can talk to and still have time to deal with them. Welcome. Do you need anything? Oh, is this a fragment of that prickly vine? Yes, that's right. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about prickly vines either. But I have something that might be helpful. If it's a boom potion, don't bother. It's not going to help. Something that might be helpful? Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. Wow, what's that? It's a tool made by some witch. With the power of the moon, 
of the moonstone embedded here, you can find out the identity of any object. Really? Then hurry up and try it. I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse... I'll do it for free this time. Wow, that's great. Alright, here it goes. Okay, it disintegrated. Huh? What? The prickly vine fragment has disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature? No, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight and analyzes the reflected light. Hmm. There are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight. Uh, it seems like something's come out in my mind. Don't we have a potion for moonlight? Think, this is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember now. Avoiding the moon. They are plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right, this prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. I think I've also heard of plants like that. I'm glad the tool is working fine. Thank you, I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. No, I'm the one who should be thankful. Work hard. Do you need anything? Uh, Let's talk to you. You can see many things while working as a peddler. Do you have any special memories? The old man who sold me the cursed wooden image of a monkey. Can't argue with that. It's a joke. There was an old woman selling pottery. She was selling two or three handcrafted potteries in the most inconspicuous part of the market. I happened to pass by there and met the gaze of the old woman. I looked at the pottery placed in front of the old woman who smiled bashfully while avoiding my eyes. I still clearly remember the shape of that pottery. It was a long white water bottle with its sprout open. Spout? Not sprout. Spout open like a flower petal. The mystery of the soft blue light and fish engraved around its midsection was full of life. I had never seen such a water bottle even in Sinan province. I fell in love with that water bottle at first sight. I told myself I'd even buy it with every Solaris gold coin I had and asked her, how much do you think it was? Probably more than what you have. Well, you can buy ten water bottles with one Solaris gold coin, right? Wouldn't you get one or two gold coins? The price the old woman mentioned was two Equus silk coins. Equus silk coins. Even the shoes I'm wearing are more expensive than that. They are special shoes. Easy to take off. That's what I'm saying. But wasn't that so lucky? I got upset and told the old woman off. I told her that I'll never buy it for less than 12 Solaris gold coins. That seems to be more expensive than the house I was living in. So what happened? In the end, I couldn't buy it. What? Why not? She said, this charge play cannot be sold for more than two Equus silver coins. She was an old woman with skillful hands, but she was terrible at appraising her own work. But don't you regret it? It could have been very profitable. Being too expensive is a problem, but it can't be too cheap either. Good things should be given good prices, that is very true. I never do business with people who don't know how to properly value things. That's a little extreme. You need anything? Uh, no, I don't think so. i see you next time. Right, so I just need to come back at night. I completely forgot. Okay, that says search the drawers in the witch's house to find information about the moonflower. I'm going to get these squish squish things. Can I? There we go. Since, uh, it's for a good cause. Oh, there's some more there. Okay. Let's get these ones too. Bye bye little squish. Right, um, let's check 
the jaws. I'm assuming they're down here. Are they here? Hmm, okay. Uh, no jaws. Oh, maybe there's a bookshelf up top? Investigate. Alright. Let's get this started. The moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. Stop complaining and keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. Only? Come on, look at the size of these books. Do they not have a glossary you could use? It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Of course. We're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. That's convenient. What? Really? Let's see here. Bitter grape tea tree? Bitter grape tea tree. That's the tree we saw at the summit. The glowing one. The glow came from the blue moon butterflies. Hmm. The tea leaves. Blah, blah, blah. Tastes like grape. Strong bitter taste. Ah, here it is. Blah blah blah. It is also famous for its flowers, the moonflower. Which I bet only bloom at night. Moonflower, so it was here. There's still more information. Hmm. It gathers moonlight most of the time, and on a moonless night, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night. But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. Solution, catch all the butterflies. So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, then the moonflower will bloom. Yeah, it's a commonly used method back in Lucifer or two. Gather moonlight with the, moon with the blue moon butterflies, shoo them away and collect the moonflower. Alright, let's get rid of the blue moon butterflies, make Luna's oil and remove the prickly vines. But what do we use to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so a sunlight potion should work. Alright, let's make a sunlight potion and get rid of those butterflies. Okay. Do I have a recipe for that? Yes. Used when fleeing from dangerous animals, plants, monsters... Humans, witches, fruits, clouds, rocks, and tornadoes with eyes. Good to know. Uh, I'm going to avoid any such tornadoes. Let's see. Witch flower extract, maple herb extract, and squishy, squishy fur extract. Okay. Uh, how long? Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode there and start work on the sunlight potion in the next episode. I don't know if we'll get to get to make the Luna's oil as well, but we shall see. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Bye!